channel. Um, I just wanted to come on here really quickly before this video starts just because I never did a proper intro and that's because I originally intended this video to be a daily vlog but it kind of turned into a weekend vlog just because I kept filming things and I was just having fun filming so I kind of I'm editing it all together. Um, so yeah I'm just gonna jump right into it and if you think my hair looks crazy right now wait till the next clip. So last night I tried to do the rollers overnight and I actually think it worked out a lot better. It's still not perfect but it is a vast improvement. It has a little bit of a nicer shape, tons of volume. I still have to figure out how to deal with these really long bang pieces here. You can see it looks kind of wild there. I'm still not really sure how to do that, but that's part of the practice and the process. So I'm really happy. I think it's actually turning out a lot better. Right now I'm going to St. Jacob's, which is kind of like a Mennonite farmer's market. And there's tons of vintage stores in that area. So I'm gonna go vintage shopping and look at antiques and stuff like that. So I thought I would take you guys along with me and just to see what kind of goodies we can find. I really wanna find like a vintage luggage. That's like the main thing that I'm looking for. arrived at the first antique market. It's a St. Jacob's antique market. It's kind of like an indoor mall. I haven't actually been to this antique market before so I'm really excited to see what kind of things they offer. It's really gloomy and cold outside. It's a lot colder than I thought it was going to be. This is so cute. Look at how beautiful this is. This is the second antique store. I am obsessed with this box. It's so beautiful and it's so heavy. I just I have no idea what I would put in it. This is like my dream. Can you guys imagine like a hallway and then this is just the very end of it? And look at this price. Look at how beautiful this lamp is. I love this, wow. I need this lamp. Look at how stunning this is, wow. $125, honestly, that's not even bad. Definitely buying this hat. It is so stunning. I have to show you guys like Also not gonna lie kind of want this mirror too Okay, this is the last stop of the day Look at all this beautiful detail and these little buttons. I hate it when you guys can see my pillow. I'm gonna turn this around. <sighs> okay, so I'm back home now and it is so hot now. Like earlier this morning when I was starting this vlog, I was saying that it was cold outside and now it's like really, really hot outside. It's around six o'clock right now. I left my house at 8 a.m. this morning. So I feel like I've been gone pretty much the entire day. And this is what my hair is currently looking like. I feel like it held fairly well considering how hot it is right now and how much time I actually spent outside. But I don't know. I'm still kind of working on making it look a little bit nicer but you know so my day was pretty good St. Jacob's itself was hectic it was very annoying and the way that they kind of formatted everything because of the virus it just made no sense you couldn't eat inside so if you wanted to go inside the building you had to like walk around the entire building to go in and then if you bought something to eat you had to walk around the entire building to go out because you couldn't eat on their property so that was kind of annoying but the antique stores were amazing honestly I could have bought way more than I actually did but I contained myself and I only got pieces that I know I really love and would actually use so in the first antique store I got this little mini little compact it looks like this it has a little C at the front which obviously I was like C for Carolina duh um, so you press the little button 
and then it has a little mirror on the one side and then there's nothing on the other side but um i just thought this would be really handy when i have like a small clutch or like an evening bag or something so, and then the second thing that i got is this magazine and it is the liberty the nostalgia magazine and this is from the spring of 1972 but it focuses on old hollywood the hollywood issue from 1924 to 1950 so it's kind of like the era that it focuses on i briefly opened the bag just to kind of see what it would look like on the inside and it just talks about all these different celebrities and like their life and like the cinema and like hollywood and stuff like that so so I thought it would be a really nice, interesting read to just kind of sit outside in the garden. And then I went to the second antique store and I got the most amazing hat. You guys are going to actually die when you see it. It is stunning. Um, it looks like this. It is navy blue. Like, look at how stunning this is. Could you not just die? It is just everything. This is what the top looks like. And this hat was only $20. When I saw it on the tag, I was like, how has no one bought this yet? Because I think it's just the most elegant thing I've ever seen. And I'm so excited to wear it. You guys have no idea how excited I am. I just think it's like so stunning. I'm sorry for the lighting. The light just keeps going in and out of my room because the clouds keep passing by. So if you're wondering why the light keeps changing, that's why. The next thing that I got is a book. And this is from one of the antique stores that I kind of stumbled in. Um, and it is the Vera Lynn autobiography and as you guys know unfortunately she did pass away a few days ago um, and I saw this autobiography and it was only one dollar and it looks brand new like I don't think anyone's even opened it because the spine is still really strong so I'm really excited to give this a read I love Vera Lynn her music is just everything and then at Valley Village I also picked up a skirt and it is a wool skirt for the winter it looks like this it has like a little plaid on it um, and then at the bottom it has these little pleats um to be honest I haven't tried it on yet just because the change rooms are closed at the thrift store because of the virus so I'm hoping that it fits and that it looks nice I don't actually know if it's gonna look that nice on me I just really really liked it it is in perfect condition and I know I'm gonna be getting a lot of wear out of it if it fits me <laughs> Okay, ignore the disaster that is my room as always, um, but this is what the skirt looks like. I do have to wear a different belt with it because this one doesn't really match, but it's the only one I have that fits my waist. Um, so I think it's so, so, so cute. I love the little pleats at the bottom. I would probably wear it with some higher heels than these ones for the winter just because it makes me look a little bit taller. I find that when you wear long skirts, you have to wear a really high heel with it just to kind of elongate you a little bit more because if not, I'll make you look a little bit shorter and I like to have my legs look a little bit longer so for me the ideal is to have a higher heel hey guys, today is a friday my hair is still kind of wavy not really ish anyway so today i thought i would go down to valley village because i'm looking for a specific beauty book and i have a feeling i'm going to be able to find it at the thrift store so i keep checking in to see if i can find it um i also want to go to either the dollar store or michael's to find some felt because i'm making some flower clips i got some flowers already but i need the felt piece so i'm gonna go look for that so it should be a pretty fun day i'm leaving right now it's around 11.30 right now, um, so yeah, let's go. I just found the most beautiful matching set. Like, look at this detail. Okay, so I'm back home and oh my god, it is so hot and windy outside. Like, my hair looks like a disaster, but anyway, not the point. So I wanted to show you guys the things that I got at the thrift store. Not the book that I was looking for. I'm looking for the Dita Von Tees book. And I don't know why I have a feeling I'm going to be able to find it at the thrift store. And it's like $50 online and I just don't want to spend $50 on a book. So I did end up finding some felt for the floral hair clips. I picked up this little glass little jar and I just thought it would be so cute to store bobby pins just because it's a little bit longer than the usual jars. Um, and it just kind of felt like the right shape for it. So I'm really excited to fill it up with all my bobby pins. I also picked up this scarf and I am so excited about this. It is such a beautiful color and it's going to be so nice for the winter just to add a pop of color to an outfit. I love wrapping these ones around my head just because they're a little bit of a thicker fabric. Like they're not going to slide off your head and these are really hard to find. So I was really excited when I found this one. I'm like obsessed with these colors, especially with my brown hair. I just think it looks so cute. 
And then last but not least, I did end up picking up that matching set. I just think it's so stunning. It's a little bit different for me. I'm not a big shoulder pad, big shoulder person. I've mentioned that on my channel before. But this jacket is just so stunning. It's in perfect condition and it was only $24.99. Uh, so I couldn't resist, so I'm going to try it on. I didn't really get too much of a chance to try it on with the skirt or anything. Okay, so for the purpose of me just showing you the pieces on their own, this is the skirt. It is a little bit big on my waist, but I can definitely add like a thick knit sweater or something and it'll be perfect. So it's going to be great for layering, so I honestly don't even mind. Um, I love the color. I think it's stunning. And on its own, I actually don't mind the length, to be honest. It's pretty similar to other ones that I have, so I think it is very cute. Okay, so this is the jacket. I I think it's so stunning. I'm not a hundred percent sure if I like it paired together. I feel like it's almost a little bit too much for my body size. Like I feel like it's a little bit overpowering when I wear both pieces together. So I paired it with a little black pleated skirt and this just looks instantly better. Um, I think the silhouette is a little bit nicer and it does elongate my body a little bit more than with the long skirt. Um, I just don't really think they pair very well together for my particular silhouette. So I added this hat and guys, I'm ready for fall. This is so cute. I love this. Hi guys, so today is a Saturday and I'm on my way right now to go for a walk. Um, but before I leave, I have this new lipstick that I wanted to try out. So I figured I would kind of try it on. I feel like I haven't been able to wear my lipsticks very much just because when you go to a store, you have to wear the mask. So there's no point of even wearing lipstick. So I figured I would wear it out on my walk right now. Um, so it's a new lipstick. It's from Maybelline. I actually saw Dita Von Teese use this in a video recently. So that's why I bought it. I don't have a lipstick this shade. So I figured I would kind of give it a try. Uh, it is Maybelline and the color is 645 Red Red. Revival, which is kind of like a deep red-ish kind of color. I'm really really excited. I don't usually buy that many drugstore lipsticks so I figured I would kind of just give it a chance. Oh the application is really nice. I actually really like it. I think it's so pretty. These flowers are starting to bloom, so I'll definitely be doing my try-on portion of my next haul here. It looks so pretty, especially when they're in like full bloom. They're not quite there yet, but they still look really pretty anyway. So I'm back home. There's a storm rolling in, which is like the perfect background to do anything. I find storms incredibly relaxing, so if I'm just sitting down in like silence and all I hear is like a thunderstorm outside, that's like so relaxing to me. So I thought I would get started. I have some flowers here that I'm going to be using to make some clips. I'm really, really excited. These are the hair clips that I made. This one's probably my favorite. It turned out really, really great. Um, I just kind of put some felt and like hot glued it all together. Um, the yellow ones, I'm not 100% sure if they're going to work very well. Um, it was kind of difficult for these flowers to kind of glue together. So we'll see how those look. The red ones worked out really well. And the white ones I think will be really great. I had some red flowers left over, so I made this little brooch that I thought would be really cute for Christmas time. So it is such a beautiful night. I'm gonna go on a little after dinner bike ride and I'm so excited. God, it's so beautiful outside tonight. Hi guys, today is Sunday. My energy level is probably at like a two. I am exhausted, I'm so tired, I'm drinking my coffee. And it is so hot and humid outside, you guys have no idea. 
I tried tanning outside and it just did not work out. Like it was way too hot, I honestly melted. Um, I am pretty much editing the entire day. I'm not really doing anything. I have to edit this video. I went outside to take a photo with my rollerblades or my roller skates and some flowers. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna practice on my roller skates. But I fell and I scraped my knee. So I was like, this is a sign today. It's just not the day for that. And it's too hot anyway. So it's honestly for the best. But I did wanna come on here and just talk to you guys about the direction of this channel, just because I had a really hard time in June coming up with new concept ideas I think mainly because we were all still stuck at home um, things are slowly starting to open it back up so that's really really great but um, I'm kind of struggling on what kind of content you guys want to see right now I usually do travel in the summertime but I can't create any travel content because none of us are really traveling um, so if you have any video requests let me know in the comments below I did have some requests for dress collections um, hat collections and purse collections like collection type videos so I'm not really sure if that's something that you guys actually want to see let me know in the comments below or not even video requests like if you have any suggestions on something that would improve the videos for you like the viewing experience I guess like what would make these videos a little bit better and more enjoyable for you to watch let me know in the comments below as well um, that would be really helpful just to get a little bit more feedback on what you guys think of the videos that I'm currently making or if you have anything different that you want me to do I think the main criticism that I on this channel is that I talk really fast and honestly like this is just how I talk like in real life like I'm not even like putting on like an act like I genuinely do talk this fast in real life all the time and people tell me like in person like that I need to slow down and to like not talk so fast but I tried to like slow down and talk a little bit more calmly and like slow down but I feel like I'm concentrating so hard on slowing down that like my words just kind of get like all mixed together and like mixed up like I can't even like talk properly you know i am trying to kind of slow down a little bit in my personal life and just the way that i talk in person and i'm hoping that that kind of translates on video eventually when i kind of get the hang of it it's a little bit not natural for me to talk a little bit slower just because i don't talk like that ever i think the one thing that i would actually hate is to train myself to talk in a more calm manner when i'm talking to you guys on camera and then it just comes off as fake if you meet me in person and i actually do talk really fast like i am right now um i would hate that like I want it to be the exact same like how does it feel to talk in a normal speed I think that's pretty much it for today's video I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed spending the weekend with me also make sure to follow me on Instagram I've been posting so much since things started to open back up um, I've been loving the way that my content's been going on there so make sure to give it a follow if you can um, as well as subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed and if you are subscribed make sure to turn on your post notifications and yeah that's pretty much it I'll see you guys next time bye